everyone, it's Elaine, and I recently went to a crafter's retreat, and what I did, I did me some journals. Now, I have to laugh about this because if you know anything about me, you know that for years now, I have been saying, use what you have. Use what you have. Quite simple. We all say that, but do we do it? Maybe to some degree. So getting ready for this retreat this time, I said that I was going to finish some journals that I've started. Started them a long time ago, put them aside for one reason or another. And that is basically these three. <clears throat> Had most of the signatures done for this. Had most of the signatures done for this. This one um, is one of those Tim Holtz books that has the two rings like a binder in it. And I had popped that out a long time ago and just kind of started gathering papers for it because it was, you know, smaller. And uh, if I saw something I thought would fit, I kind of put it to the side. And that's what I've been doing is I've been taking... Um, boxes of whatever and kind of sorting things that I wanted to do for journals. <clears throat> so anyway, I would say these three for the most part are done. This one, I do need to put um, a book plate on it. You know, one of my leather book plates that I sell in my Etsy shop. Um, and other than that, I'm going to say we're going to call it a day. This one here that's kind of peeking behind, as you can see, it's a little bit larger. And I had an idea for this. And I love what's inside. However, it's not finished. But what's so funny is wanting to complete these three, I started a new one. Now, this one is farther along than these had ever been, which is kind of also funny. But for right now, I'm going to put this one aside and just kind of get it out of the way. Let me put it behind me. And I'm not going to um, show you all of these right now. I'm going to save them for later. Because like I said, this one I do have to put a book plate on still. Um, so we're just going to set these to the side and not worry about them right now. As I said, this is one of the Tim Holtz um, little books that had the two rings in it and you can see the holes in the middle are a little bit larger um, all of the um, the stuff that's on that is how Tim Holt sells it. It feels a little bit like linen I would definitely say it is some kind of cloth so let's just do a flip through and we'll chat a little bit as I go through it um, one thing that I have been doing is collecting odds and ends. When you go to some of the junk journal retreats and, and people that do this, they like to give you goodies. They share with you um, enormously. And, and I also share with them. So many times you come back with onesies and twosies of things. So I have been um, putting things in this big cloth basket I have. Um, and I say that to you because little bitty things won't fall through because it, like I said it's a cloth basket um, so I had taken that with me on the retreat with the goal of mainly using the stuff in it and I'm gonna tell you these are true junk journals now so I used what was in that basket and did not take anything else other than perhaps some extra paper if I needed to fill in so this little thing here was um, something that I collected at one of the retreats, and it had these. It had two paper paper clips on them. This is a paper clip that somebody had um, put some flowers on. Sorry, I'm out of frame there. Had put some um, flowers. Had die cut some flowers, and um, I guess they were selling them or whatever. And uh, I got a couple of them. Now I can't get the thing back on. You know how that goes. Here we go. And so I just stuck a little card in there. Um, you've also heard me talk about my little notepads. I love making little notepads inside the journals. Um, it's permanent. 
but you can untie this and flip this up and pull out the pieces that are at the top because I always perforate them so these can tear out and then that way you have your template to make more pages to put up under the little cover. Um, and so from there, like I said, I just, I used what I had. If it was a little envelope someone gave, I had given out a bunch of these auction tags and so someone did a paper ruffle. Um, this actually was a digital that when I downloaded it, I downloaded it incorrectly. So when I went to copy it, it kind of blew it up and and distorted it. But look how cute that is. I mean, I just couldn't throw it away. And I did it on two sides of like an agenda, out of an agenda book. And again, I'm telling you, I just used whatever. That's wallpaper. Um, a 3D something that someone gave me. I just used whatever scraps were in that basket. These were die cuts. Um, that I've had for a very long time and they were rings and you flip them and it holds. I don't know. It's so cute to me. Um, a little belly band type thing. Again, just embellishments that I had that had been given to me. Um, this is something I got from Amazon, something funky, and it had this weird little doodad in it. Um, and there's another one that's distorted. I did leave a few pages um, plain so that you would have places to write or stick something if you wanted to, a photo or add extra things. So not every page has something on it, but for the most part, they do. There is something that I dug out of that basket <laughs> to put on these pages. Excuse me. Oh, got a little glue there. Um, but, you know... That would be one suggestion that I would do because I think that we all get so overwhelmed with the amount of ephemera that we have, that we've been given, that we create ourselves, and we always end up with little giblets of something, and um, and it, it's just overwhelming. It kind of goes everywhere. So, like I said, in my opinion, if you kind of collect it. And then, in this case, what I did is I did the journals. Um, I bound them, you know, just with the three pamphlet, whole pamphlet stitch. And then I just grabbed one of the journals and I literally dumped that basket out on the table to dig through. And um, when I do my last video on these journals, I'll show you that basket. And then, again, I did... Um, at the very end, I did the same little thing. And this this looks like scrapbook paper that someone made a little notepad out of. Again, given to me. Um, something I have collected. So that's the first little journal that I'm going to show you. And next week, I'll um, show you one of the others. And then the following week, I'll show you the third one. The bigger one that I had, I'm going to start working on it again. Um, but I do have a retreat that I'm going to be attending, um, and, uh, so I may take it to work on there, save it for that. I like having projects when I hit the road. So anyway, um, with that in mind, please remember that I do have a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. And um, you can find me on Pinterest. I also have a small Etsy shop. Not a whole lot. Um, I do a video every Tuesday evening, Eastern Time, that I post at 6 p.m. So I do hope you come back and join me and see what's in these other two. And then maybe we'll be ready to check out that bigger one. So I do appreciate your time. And if you haven't already, Please give me that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate you. And everyone behave and stay safe. Bye.